some years ago, NSA developed a, a handheld device called an ANCD, an Automated Network Control Device. And what this device does is, is it has an encryption key, and it is essentially like a very, very fancy clock that if you, in a particular case, I'm talking about the Crazy 10 here, so uh, it fills some radios called SYNCARs. What happens is this really fancy clock will, you get all these radios together you want to be in their own time, and this really fancy clock tells all these radios what time it is, and then they operate within their own time so that radios that haven't been told what time it is don't get to listen in, and so they can speak securely. The existence of this device is in no sense whatever classified. By the way, if you're a modern, uh, if you're a current service member, you'll know that um, it's the SKL that's replacing the Crazy 10. But if you're a little bit longer in the tooth, think of the old Kick 13 modern version of that. If you happen to be a REMP or a FOBIT of some type, you might be more familiar with the uh, the Skip enabled STE or its precursor, the Stu 3. If you're a little longer in the tooth, maybe the old Stu 2. Anyway. That's the kind of thing we're talking about here. Not one of these devices, by the way, the existence of it anyway, is classified. It's the cryptography that's classified for all the obvious reasons. If you, if you can't securely talk with your troops and coordinate their movements and get them to move places, uh, like, you know, say if I, if I say, hey, uh, Group A, I want you to go to 3rd and 9th Street on the battlefield, because, you know, streets are always on the battlefield. The people you don't want to know that you're doing that with your troops aren't your troops. It's the people who are fighting your troops. So you don't want to have to, to tell your troops, you don't want to have to tell the enemy, Hey, uh, guys, they're going here. So you have cryptography, which you obviously want to keep classified and secret. In this case, the ANCD is a confidential medium, which means it has some low-level cryptography in it that is nevertheless uh, classified. In this case, confidential. So, if you compromise one of these devices, that is to say that it falls into enemy hands, they can now tell their radios how to be as smart as the network radios that you programmed a little while ago. So they can listen in and they will now know that you sent Group A to 3rd and 9th Street or wherever it was. So, you could jeopardize the lives of some dozens, hundreds, perhaps a thousand troops. And not much more than that. That's about the scale we're talking about. So this is classified, but it's at the low end of classification. It's just confidential. It's important. It's vital. You don't want it compromised, but if it gets compromised, the damage is not all that severe. It's only a thousand, you know, upwards of a thousand troops, which we can just replace. So no big deal there. And then if you follow that that up, and I'll give you the upper end of the continuum, something like the the presidential football uh, that holds the nuclear codes, that follows the president around from point A to point B. Everybody knows this device exists. I mean, you can see the officer carrying the little suitcase. It's always there, just hanging out in the background, you know, chilling, relaxing, shooting some b-ball, whatever it does. The fact it exists is not at all classified. The fact that it follows the president from point A to point B is not classified. The fact that it holds the nuclear codes is not classified. What's classified? The information inside the device, namely the nuclear codes and whatever program. I don't know anything about that. But with the ANCD, it's the, it's the cryptography that's classified but not the existence of the device, or what the device does, or the fact that it has a cryptographic key. Now, with this classification, and I'm going to turn sharply to the NSA uh, debacle of the current moment as uh, the byproduct of Mr. Snowden uh, saying all that he has said, with the class of, with what comes along with classifying something is not just that it's, hey, guys, circle around, listen up. Here's a secret, don't tell anybody. It's not that. There will be measures put in place to secure that particular uh, information in the device, the, the medium that contains it. And that will be all reasonable means of force up to and including the use of deadly force. So it's important to, to focus on what is is actually classified. With respect to the ANCD, the medium itself you need the clearance to touch because it's the medium that holds the thing that the, the data that are classified and the little key. That's what you don't want getting into enemy hands. The actual device itself, if it doesn't have the cryptographic information, whatever, it's a very fancy paperweight that turns, ooh, look, flashing lights. Which is why uh, the data can be wiped from it extremely quickly. 
three or four pushes of, of the same button, all of that cryptographic information is gone, three or four depending on the particular circumstance, uh, particular conditions you have. Anyway, no big deal there. I don't know anything about the launch thing, uh, the presidential football. I, I don't know, maybe there's a button. Who, who knows? But you can be sure that if anyone tries to get that, uh, that suitcase, that briefcase, from the military aid that's carrying it, that per and they try to abscond with that briefcase, that person is going to be quickly and unceremoniously stopped by whatever means of force is, is necessary to uh, expedite that, that stopping of the person trying to abscond with the nuclear codes for all the obvious reasons. So turning to the NSA debacle of the moment, what's classified here? Well, it's, if you listen to the Congress creatures and the, and, uh, the NSA spokespeople, and I've listened to all the testimony before the Congress, and I listened to the administration, really, uh, the information that, that's in this program is really what you'd get off of someone's phone bill. Okay, so if you look at your phone bill and my phone bill and, and everyone's phone bill on my block and perhaps even my whole state, you will find not one bit of information that is of moment with respect to the security of the nation. Not at all. Just so-and-so called so-and-so at this and such time from such and such location. Th things like that. Talk for this long. Uh, ran up a toll of whatever it was. No big deal. So that's not what's classified. I mean, that comes in the mail. Anyone could just check my phone bill if they wanted to. If they, were, if they really had a heart on to see what's in my phone bill. Or yours. Or anyone else's. So what's classified here? Not the phone bills. Not the information in the phone bills. Not the fact that all the phone bill information of a whole bunch of people is contained in one place. I mean, obviously everyone's aware that Verizon exists and they have a billing center. So the thing that is classified here is the fact that the government is procuring this information. Which is telling, because just if you read the, the uh, if you look at the, the documents that are released, they're classified top secret. Which is to say, that the release of that information, the release of that document that's, that's stamped top secret, uh, is a grave threat to the security of the entire fucking country in some sense, in a way that killing off a thousand troops is not. So this is a, this must be a really big deal to have that kind of, uh, that, that kind of um, security around it, or classification around it. Okay. So, it, it, when you hear this is a classified piece of information, when the talking heads on the news are going on about it, stop hearing that as like, oh, this is just something that we want to keep to ourselves, or it's a really good idea, it's a prudent idea not to let this out. Stop hearing classified and start hearing data that is so vitally important to the protection of the secu to the security of the entire nation that if it, is, if it is disclosed, untold mayhem and chaos will descend upon the country and throw it into chaos. And that's not going to happen. This stuff is not classified for any particular reason relating to national security. It is, in my estimation, classified because it would be embarrassing to government officials and government agencies to be snooping like this so openly, which is uh, what I'll talk about in my one of my next videos in this series. Have a great day.